Hi guys, Virtus Education here with episode 32 of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to particle systems and their usage inside of UDK, alongside expanding on what we went over in the previous video in our introduction to matinee, and we're going to be creating our very first matinee sequence using uh, particle systems, and uh, we're also going to be syncing some sounds up. So in my previous video, I actually showed you a pretty cool particle system, um, based uh, matinee sequence which I'm going to show you now so you can get a quick taster of what we're going to be doing in this episode so if I go ahead and press play here you can see what we're doing so I'm just going to quickly replay that because there was a slight pause there but you can see there that we have some particle systems in the background and then also we have a sort of explosion particle system that goes off which is also in sync with a sound which I put into the sequence which I'm going to quickly show you here. So as I showed you in uh, that little uh, overview of that matinee sequence in the previous video, we have our particle group here named explosion, we have the toggle and the sound group, so what we've got here is we have our particle system toggling on and then we also have the sound playing very very shortly uh, afterwards or before it and uh, we get a sort of particle system uh, thing going on there so let's uh, kick this off and uh, get into the episode so I'm gonna start off by uh, showing you particle systems explaining what they are if you don't understand what they are all in detail I'm gonna be putting them into use in the environment those that are loopable and then I'm going to be going into uh, creating our matinee sequence so let's just quickly go over a uh, overview of what a particle system is. So a particle system is a group of uh, particles that make up some kind of effect. So for example here I have a whole bunch of different particles here and these are actually moving and they're all animated and make up a fire particle system. You can see these little particles in here alongside these planes and this all builds up uh, into the fire particle system here. Now keep in mind you can make tons and tons of different particle systems whether it's smoke, fog, fire, explosions, birds, there's loads and loads of different things you can create. Now also I want you to keep in mind I'm not necessarily going to be showing you how to create particle systems in this episode, I'm going to dedicate a whole uh, series to Cascade, so I'm just going to be showing you how to use them. So having said that, let's uh, dive into actually putting a few particle systems into our environment. So to find a particle system just go ahead and go into the content browser and under the uh, favorites tab just go to particle systems here and you should be able to find some. Now keep in mind some of these particle systems here were made uh, by my VFX guy uh, on my team for the game that I'm working on but most of these you should have so I'm going to look for something that's nice and loopable that we can play around with, uh, similar to the fire here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click on these already and I'm going to look for, and I'm going to look for them, uh, the name of that in the uh, content browser. So the name is something explosion. So let's go ahead and see if we can find that if we go ahead and type in explosion. And hopefully we should be able to find it. And okay, no, this is no good. So what we're going to do is type in fire, and then we're just going to drag any one of these into the scene and uh, see what we can do with it. So, firstly, before I do drag it, in, drag it into the scene, I want to double click it so I can actually show you the cascade editor. So to get into this, just make sure you double click any particle system, and you will get this. Now. Cascade, uh, this interface is actually where all particle systems are made inside a UDK and, we've, and these are particle systems are broken up into different uh, pieces and you, can some, and you can see some of these different pieces that actually make up a particle system. For example, we, got some, we can spawn in our little particles, we can change the acceleration and so on and so forth. But for now we're not necessarily going to be doing anything with Cascade other than viewing this live preview that we have available to us here and this specific particle system looks pretty sweet and has plenty of depth so what we're gonna do is we're going to just simply drag that into the scene and I'm gonna move it over here next to this tree so it's all you gotta do drag it in and it should drop into the scene so for some reason I don't seem to be able to uh, do it so just give me a moment here and I'm gonna try and drag this into the scene again 
and hopefully it should work just like that. And now, getting a particle system into here is really easy. Now, you will find an issue with some particle systems in the sense that not all of them loop and they won't be playing over and over. Also, if you can't see your particle system working, make sure you do have the real-time uh, button up here selected so you can see your scene in real time and you will get it in. Now your particle systems you can actually play around with them in just the same way that you can in uh, any other object so you can scale them up, you can scale them down uh, you can move them about and so on and so forth and uh, also you can play around with some of the properties for example uh, we can turn it on and off, we can also change the particle system that's using but the most important one that we want to play around with here is auto activate do we want it to be turned on by default I apologize for the cat in the background uh, do we want to turn it on by default if you're going to be using some sort of matinee sequence where you want to toggle it on manually I advise you turn this off if you just want it to be some sort of uh, environment effect for example this fire which I have playing all the time you're obviously going to want to turn this on now, the other properties you probably won't want to play around with, but I do advise you check those out. So, now now you have a good understanding of uh, how to use particle systems in your environment, move them about. We're going to take that one step further and actually create a, uh, a sequence of particles, a sequence for your particle system. Uh, so you can attach sound, turn it on and off whenever you want, and uh, also play around with it using a trigger. So... Let's bring in a explosion effect, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some of these pipes explode. Now, you can put these whatever you want. You can put them in any sort of sequence you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be some next, next to some pipes. You can use smoke. You can use lava, whatever you want. But just for demonstration purposes, this should be fine. So I'm going to type in explosion, and I'm going to see if I can find uh, the one I'm using, and this seems to be it. So all we need to do is just drag this in here. Now... Remember, you need to have your particle system in your scene ready to make the sequence. Now, when you're ready to have you make your sequence and you've got your particle system in place here, uh, go ahead to and go into Kismet. In some nice space you have, in any space you have, right click and go to New Matinee, making sure that you have it selected. Double click onto it, and in here, have a little time frame uh, panel. Right click, add new and then particle group now keep in mind you could add different groups for different types of things that you're trying to add like lighting ai directed groups and so on and so forth but for now we just need to, we only need to really make a particle group and we've also given been given this little uh, track here for toggling on the particle on and off it's pretty simple really now let's just go ahead and uh, see if we can make this toggle on and off at will so with this lane selected all you got to do is press enter and you can pl make your keyframe. Now, there's a few different uh, toggle, uh, sorry, keyframe states that you can actually have here. You can have trigger, which we're not necessarily going to be using, and then there's on and off, and these are pretty self-explanatory. When you first want to turn it on, just set it to on, and when it's done, all you got to do is uh, turn it off. Now, to move these little keyframes about, all you got to do is select them pretty hard and then just con hold down control and then drag them about just like this now I want to I want a delay of about one second so I'm gonna take it over to one second here and it won't turn on until after one second and it won't work until I actually have an off keyframe for it as well and if I select that control and drag it here you can see that we've got this little bar here which shows us that our particle system is in this space so if I go ahead and press stop to go back to the beginning press play you're gonna see it will now work and it can be toggled at will now this won't actually work at the moment if you just close this you're gonna need some sort of trigger to fire off the sequence which I'll be showing you uh, very shortly so, the next thing we want to do is add a sound. Now, we're going to be doing this with an additional track. So, what we want to do now is we want to find some sort of sound uh, for the explosion. So, I'm just going to type in explosion. And I'm going to go over to the sound cues tab here. And see if we can find something uh, which will uh, fit the purposes. So, we're going to be having some metal pipes exploding. So, we want something that sounds metallic. 
Now, this first one sounds really great, and I think we're going to use this. So, with that selected, go back into your matinee, and all you got to do is right-click on the group, and go to Add New Soundtrack. Just remember, you don't want to be selecting in here. We want to make sure it's part of the same group. And then just go Add New Soundtrack. Now, if you've selected it, when you press Enter, you should be able to... Uh, play the sound so just press enter and it should come in just like this and once again you've got a little green bar showing your uh your sound so as a, as before just press control click and uh, you can drag this about however you want and i really advise that you make sure that you line this up with your particle system uh, so it doesn't play before or after just to make sure that it is it, that it is in sync and it should work perfectly fine so we've actually created our very first particle system uh, sequence here and it works really well keep in mind you can add extra complexity for example you can have multiple particle systems going off at once multiple sounds uh, you can also do things like movement uh, you can have movement for example we can make the pipe go flying off into the air or we can uh, add some uh, skeletal mesh movements and so on and so forth but for now it should, this should be fine so if we go ahead and press stop to make to make sure it's back at the beginning and press play we can actually see this bad boy in action so, here we go. Let's go move this to the side and press play. And there we go. You can see it played after the one second delay. Now, if I go ahead and press play here, nothing is actually going to happen because I turned off auto activate. Well, apparently it's still on, uh, but that was for the fire. So what I'm going to do is make sure that's off because we don't want it going off prematurely and then not working afterwards so make sure that it's unselected if you're going to be using a matinee sequence now if we go ahead and press play absolutely nothing is going to happen we need something to trigger this so there's loads of different triggers and events that we have available to us in kismet now this boils back to the uh one of the previous episodes where i got, went into kismet every action needs something to make it happen so to do this we're going to use an event in the form of a trigger now to create one of these uh, we can do a few different things. Our trigger is going to be the player walking up to this door. So to add a trigger, just go to add actor and then trigger. Pretty simple really. And whenever the player walks in this area, we can then add this into Kismet by right clicking new event using trigger 2. Make sure you have the trigger selected and then touch. So as soon as they touch it, something happens. And then all we got to do is hook up play to touched and hopefully it should work so if I go ahead and press play here and then if I run into the trigger if I can remember where it is it goes bang pretty well so play around with some of the stuff you can do inside a matinee and particle systems just experiment with them and hopefully you should be able to do some pretty nice stuff so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the next video in which I'll either be going over camera animation or I'll also be going over moving different items, for example, making this door go up into the, uh, into the top here like it's automatic, or making some pipes go flying into the air, spinning some cubes or something, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.